Just want to remind the eyes them to um, subscribe. Don't have to like, subscribe and comment. Effie, watch out. Yeah, Fire Warren Promotions. Motherland Sound System Culture Administrator. Fine wine. What? <laughs> World Clash, the end, the final. You know, I, I was on a pay per view. Hit me with it. Well, where would you like to start off? Um, the crowning, or would you like to just go straight into the clash? Go into the clash. Okay, so Go as ahead. you know, Sarah Pipe was first. So Sarah Pipe started off first. Um, yes, he was still playing very well. Um, played the Luchi, then the Christopher Ellis in the beginning. Yes, the Dennis Brown and, um, and the Bounty there. So he did live with, yeah. Um, mostly I'd say it was the the budget, the Bounty that kind of gave him a kick. Um, near to I'd say halfway near to the end. So he got a good forward, a good run at the um the first round but then also you had mystic as well now with mystic we know the canadians itself the canadians now their first time being in the uk so it could be the nerves or they're not pretty sure uh, or the crowd actually what didn't know how to take on to them so they and also they were playing a lot of brand new tunes the skilly bang them song so they came on too forceful too quick with the brand new tunes in, with songs UK don't really know much. When you talk about cold braid and certain sounds and warrior, yeah, yes, UK know about it. When you talk about the Canadian mystic, don't forget we're they're only getting to learn about these sounds here during the lockdown. So if we had the fourth round, the fourth sound, which was cold braid for Simon and his selector. What can I say? Um between him and 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 Speedy Stereo Five, yeah, he came and he did he took on the stage again. Don't forget Chris Diamond's got fan base also in the UK. So, he's a month ago. Yeah, but he's been consistently traveling, coming to the UK and juggling into a dance scene. So, he's also got them patrons there that would have fought through and supported him. So, that was expected. He was good. He was dropping some tunes, and you know, and like he was there. Because when he walked in, he, was, he had all his um, army gear ready for war. And representing Jamaica, like to the. I think it's Tony Jamaica. Mataran. I think it's Tony Mataran. I think Ma that I think I know Mataran coached him. Him and Mataran, I think, was you know really collaborating and planning before the event. Yes, from what I have heard. Yes. 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 <laughs> wow. Go. Yes. Go. Yes. But, um, but he did. He did deliver on that first round, and then now we go into the fifth round, now, which is the African dynamic. Yeah. Dressed how in do you do? How do you do? How do you do? How my boy do? Um, <laughs> he went out there as usual. You know, he's going to be dressed down with African and um, the shiki trousers. You know, the headband, the African and um, shiki headband. So when he came now, he came in and he was playing some chin But now, we want to hear customs. Customs started dropping from there. He was dropping custom after custom. <laughs> You know, so he did pretty good uh, on that first round itself. Well, what can I say about Observer? Um, we were expecting a bit more. However, um, they never got a big forward. That's the thing there. So the custom that they built didn't get forward the, or the reactions from the crowd. But then um, I guess the, also the, the dub plates they were playing, it, it just, whether, I don't think it was a slow pace or it just yeah, didn't they work. Played but they, slow. they played slow. They, yeah, were, they were going really slow. Very, very slow. Seeing him on stage for the first time and my surprise like no because i was i was expecting a younger selector because if you look at the sounds that are based these are younger sounds out there you know the selectors them they're they're, they're mc the mic you know they're all young yeah. but to have someone at this age who is 60 years old trying to go against he cannot pace up and down the stage just like some of these old guys don't know how to let go. go some of these older guys from the older generation they don't know how to let go it's been a big problem it happens all over i've seen it they don't want to let go yes. they don't know how to stand aside and say hey next generation you know it's your time a lot of folks can't do that and the energy they displayed i also saw it in like the selectors who played by themselves except for dynamic and a few others who got to select cue your tunes get your tunes make your speech and run back it's a hustle it's a lot of work i've seen speedy struggle with it matthias you don't have it that that's a different kind of skill 
and, and even also even another one we've never had it was cyclone because speech because yeah cyclone, speech I, speech problem yeah oh, people say language barrier that's not my empire <laughs> what the hell did the uk do to empire don't forget a nice place to be on a nice place it is it's difficult a lot of songs. because it's a lot of songs. between it's a lot of songs. one and eight it's a lot of songs. yeah no between one songs. and eight they're going to play out every song when it was their turn to play let me tell you they lit up the stage they lit up the stage they really lit up the stage, really lit up the stage. i saw that i saw i saw that i was shocked i was shocked i was shocked when yeah. empire got voted out and chris diamond got sent to tune for tune just first and second round because they're forgetting the, the voting customs or dropping however when they finish the second round they came to now the third round okay the third round now yeah which is a face off now you know the face off six sounds yeah yeah we have to be paired up yeah so each sound now has picked up a number now she gave us the rules we've been hearing about the rules on what has been advertised all over even on rumble talk everywhere on sound channel we got these numbers. And that evening before the cash down, he reminded us not just once but twice about the rules and do we understand? And that's how we set and it can't change. So when he came to face off, the two sounds that picked was dynamic and cold red. The first thing you heard, Ching, you heard this was not supposed to happen. The two sounds have got that, they've got to clash one another. It happened already. It happened before. It happened before. It's not the first time it's happening. And it's not the second time either. It happened to Emperor vs. Ja Works in Japan Rumble with the two top teams. They draw each other. And there was, a, there, was a, there was a conversation about it. And there was, you know, I don't remember. It happened also before that. I don't remember the exact clash. And just a couple of days ago, there was a post about it. And I was weary of this third round because I'm like, yo, listen, guys. I've seen it before. I've seen it before, and there's nothing okay. in place to see to say, hey, who was who's a guan should take on who ain't doing too well. What? What? No, no, Tell no, me, no, hit me with that. that. Was the now that was the big. Big cause, not just Empire Law, but I love this town. It's the reason why I'm going to tell you this, yeah? This is yeah. the reason. So when they decided to say, you know what, they, we knew, we predicted this was going to happen. Either way, Dynamic and Cold Red. Now, these are strong sounds. Now, you know, okay, Dynamic is probably managed. I don't want to put words into me, you know? But Dynamic and Cold Red could be, you know, and uh, management of Chin. But this, like you said, if the two sounds have been drawn out, that's the matter how big you are. They should have gone clashing each other. It's a clash. It's a war. It's a face-off. Yeah. yeah. It's controversial. It's controversial. It's, it's very controversial. It's very controversial. They're not seeing that part there. That's the point. It's the whole stage and so on. But, you know, the speed wasn't happy. Yes, um, Empire Towns were not happy about that because you can't blame them. You can't blame them for certain things. The streets are saying Speedy got a raw deal. But like Speedy when got the voting wrong. with Tony, at one point he may have forgotten Speedy Final was still jumping. in the clash Final. or something. Final. Yes, yes, and that but is that the, the problem there. Been. That's the problem. That's, it, 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 there was so much in there, little mistakes, but my no, biggest mistake is Speedy's part. I can truly see, and, and I, do you know what? Respect to Speedy, you know? Uh, Empire was that, what I've been um, was supporting. So I was like shocked to see like the way they came on stage, presented themselves on stage. So I was so happy to see them round one and two, you know, going through and, and just producing um certain things but then also um it's okay to me i get you know what i'm, I'm not gonna say it in a good way i'm gonna say in my bad way like my wow moments when like, i'm like wow i'm like disappointed chris diamond apparently played three tunes three playbacks the three playbacks no one mentioned it even the host never mentioned it well i think the crowd knew they said the crowd knew and no, no, but was there a roll on a playback? That's the question there that no one said, and I didn't hear it from the, the host or I didn't hear it from Chin. Because if there is a playback, there should be some form of a penalty. See, so this is the thing, right? I don't know if there's a um, it's actually stated in the rules that if a sound playback a song, they are automatically yeah. eliminated, right? That's something from yeah. our side that they've really like left to the crowd to decide. Crowd, if you hear it, 
it's up to you. But we're not gonna say, hey. But then the thing is, but we did say we did say there's a playback, and we kept wrong and saying there's a playback. They will not actually know because they were not listening to us. So we could shout as much as we want, but then the host is not saying anything. So and it, it took um it took dynamic and um, Marvin Empire to come and say, yo, you played back. I was shocked. So it was I was shocked. There's a new generation yes. who is like play, saying, play better. You play about two songs, the Freddy Mac we're going to play first round in the mile. All you want me to say yes. Where, hey, if the crowd is okay with it and I get away with it, so be it. Maybe your dub play doesn't sound good as mine. Doesn't mean I'm necessarily not going to play mine because you, you know, whatever, whatever. If he busts the crowd and the crowd don't remember, even that's who you're playing for. So if the crowd is okay, so yeah, in that moment, I was shocked. Cause I thought he was gone. I really thought Chris was gone. And then I felt like, wow, this UK crowd really love you. And Dynamic too. Don't think Dynamic got a lot of, a lot of extra love in the third round as well. He did. Fourth round is when he went and played. Like he played his life away. He like it's like I'm um, Tony Mataron said. Like you know when you're playing with the ancestors, he came to go and play for like, the ancestors who were calling for him. You know. But um, the third round when the rules got changed and everything went onto a dub play. Yeah. To be honest, yeah, he, he, he did get his moments where he was not getting any um uh, forwards. He wasn't getting any forwards. Even Chris Diamond also had his moment as well, where he was not getting any forwards. When he came to the fourth round, because that time that the fourth round, you had between Empire and um, Empire, you had Empire and uh, Cold Red and um, uh, um, Dynamic. I was shocked when Chris went through. I was shocked. I think he might have been shocked no, as well. That's but this is the problem here, and this is this is the problem. This is why Empire did win to me and to us. That they they have won because if the rules never change, two of the big sounds would have been eliminated. That would have been either Chris Diamond or Dynamic. It would be either Empire or tune to tune with um, Dynamic or with Cold Red. Listen, they call themselves a bad sound. Chris Diamond says a bad sound. The African says a bad sound. I should want another. These things should have been kept as like original clashes that like, you know you keep as original. Listen, this point, I thought this was um, when Always they were talking about the, the, rule of the, the, the uh, change of the rules when uh, Chin, Chin, when Chin like said, to um, the to Empire, the hey, remember I changed the rules the right. back in you know, rumble in England and then to bring you, you to work class. Close, so, we got so hey, you man, know, what? I'm doing it here again. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so, so I think, I think I that was, that was, that we heard that was like, wow, so... Effie, this, this is what made Clash Clash. Yeah, yeah, the Chum for Chum was somewhat disappointing. You guys ready for Chum for Chum? Best of 10! Oh, Of course I fucked up. Who never fuck up pants in the air? Effie, thank you so much for this. I know you got a train to catch. Look into your crystal ball. What do you see? <laughs> My crystal ball. Now we've come to the end of the world clash. Okay. People are wondering what's going to happen. Um, is UK keeping something? The UK clash? Anything? Is the US keeping a US clash or the American clash? Who knows? But um, the future for myself as... Um, Myself and um, the team, um, Sasha Mani, Marvin Empire, um, you know, there's a few of us there. Just managed to get the connections of the four corners of Africa so we can work together now. So our next big thing is going to be in Motherland. So you, you go into Motherland Sound System Culture Facebook, everybody is in there. That is Motherland. That is Motherland. And I like, you know, you got Father Bengi, you got good guidance. You know, you're in good company. But Father Bingy also got like the, the younger youths, them who kept the clash, which was the Gambian Cup clash in January in Gambia. So they're also through working with us as well. Tyrone, call Tyrone. You guys are gonna have to call Tyrone now. Call Tyrone. Call the real Tyrone. Yeah, Tyrone. Yeah, Tyrone. Do you know what Tyrone? Like I said, yeah, it's not being biased here, but do you know what? It's just that we thought, oh, get rid of Tyrone. Like, you know, let's get the connections out first. But Tyrone surprised us in the UK. Yeah, he really did. He came with some assault and kicked that box and everything. I flip and got jump on the Energy. table. And he, when Energy. he got the booth, when he got the booth, the one thing I give him respect for, and I think I never acknowledge that, and I do apologize. I really keep you watch this. Um, is there? Um, he kept going. 
if the amount of booze he got like left right center go home he's standing on the stage he can hear everything that's being called towards him and he still guess what had a smile on his face and still continued until he won the british hearts and from when he's not even just the british heart but he won also the, the europeans in there you know and us like and i had to even sit back and say well okay you know good entertainment you mystic. something that's entertaining you know something that's yeah that's there that can bring forward you could be the next